we stumbled on a report whose findings, if true, will melt the marrow in our bones. The Madare Social Justice Center in 2015 documented the localized execution of principally young men by police. This report tallied killings from 2013 to 2015 to a total of 803 deaths. Walikuwa watoto wazuri hata kwa shule wameshomea nyumbani kuanzia primary na Bernard amefika form 2 pesa ikasindikana ya kupeleka secondary au kusoma kufika secondary na akapelekwa kwa kosi ya kushona na Victor pia hapo nyumbani amefanyia ameenda paka standard 3 akarudi bondo akaenda paka standard 5 na hapo ndio baada aliachia shule aliwacha kama yuko mdogo Victor alikuwa msafi sana kwa nyumbani yeye ndiye msafi kuliko watu wote anaweza kukata na nguo hata wiki nzima uwezo kupata kama iko chafu na yeye ndiye alikuwa mzuri alijaribu kushona alikuwa anashona ma cushions leo kosi ya kushona ma cushions za kuingiza kwa enea viti na hapo ndio pale maisha yake iliishia sasa akawa alikuwa mshonaji alikuwa anashona hapo kikomba wakati nilisikia kile alisasi nikawaambia Sila yeye ndiye anaitwa Sila Slebo nikawaambia kaeni ndani msitoke nje tuliweka chapi tukafunga na tarimbo tukaweka mguu ya charani cross jumu langu ilikuwa weak kabisa sasa hivyo ndio tunaishi huko kamshika kama wamempandisa saa hiyo Kevin anatoa jaso inamwagika kama maji nilikwambia na nilisema pale popote nitakupata nitakumaliza akainua mikono juu akaanza kumpiga akaanza kupiga bwana kusibatu hivi anapigwa anapigwa na Awe Rashidi. Jada au mpige kama meangalia mbele hivi. Wewe tuna akiyena na mpige ya mgongo. Nilo mbambu watu. Toroka. Toroka sasa mwana. Adia kwa mtu wapigia. Pigia mkoro wama na mwambia mbambu ya mtu. Toka hapa. Fifty of the documented cases in this report identify names, age, incidents, and the willingness of witnesses to come forward. These are just the few we managed to get to speak. Within what time period? Within a period of six months. So in a week, we have a period of six months. 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 We this project is not an attempt to shame the men and women who sacrifice their lives to protect our nation, but an inward look into how we treat each other. A sip on the bile, rotting our insides. Madara is one of several places on the east of Nairobi town that harbor informal settlements. Majority of the people here live on less than a dollar a day. I don't know if I can.
Mama Victor lost two of her sons to police during elections. <laughs> Victor alikuwa msafi sana kwa nyumba yangu yende msafi kuliko watu wote. Anaweza kukata na nguo hata wiki nzima uweze ukapata kama iko chafu. Na ndiye ndiye alikuwa mzuri. Ana ulikuwa ukimuona nafikiri ni msichana. Na alikuwa pia na mwili alikuwa yeye ndiye alikuwa mnono kuliko wote na ni mrefu haiti yake pia alikuwa mrefu. Kushinda wote. Na alikuwa mwepesi wa kuongea lakini alikuwa mwepesi wa kufikia kwa mtu. Hasa na bena naye alikuwa mchezi, alikuwa anapenda mambo ya utani utani. Kwa nikuwa tutu wazuri, hata kwa shule, wameshumia nyumbani kwanzia primary, na bena dea mefika form 2, lesa ikazindikana ya kupeleka secondary, hawa kuzoma kufika secondary. Police brutality is no stranger to Kenyans. Elections become an arena where a largely young and frustrated population meets a vicious and intolerant police force. alikuwa anatoka kazini. Yeye alikuwa siku ilikuwa siku ya baada ya election, tu immediately baada ya election tarehe tisa. Sasa hao walipiga tarehe nane hao kwenda kazi. Sasa wakatuo hapa hapa tunaita kuna mahali panaitwa gateway. Walikuwa wamemwaga maskari. Hapo kwa chifu Ruma maskari walikuwa wamemwaga kabisa. Sababu hii ilikuwa ndio space ilikuwa inatagetiwa sana wakati wa wa election. Sasa kufika pale bila sha chuka sasa si unajua ukishuka vile sasa mimi nimekuja si nimekuja nikamwambia hai. Sasa hadi ya kusalimiana niaje kunaendaje? Kabla wajajibua ni nini ama nini? Si wewe pia unaona ni maandamano lakini lazima unaona kunaendaje. Kabla wajajibiwa ndio kukaribika watu wakaambia si tu watu kapata tu wameshutiwa nilitiwa tu kama wameshauliwa nikapata kama Victor alipigwa rasi hapa ikatoa ilibidi mpaka matumbo itoke so unajua ile vile force ya hiyo gani sasa matumbo ilitoka na Bernard alilipuliwa kichwa alikuwa amebaki hapo unaona yenyewe maskara walikuwa ni wengi hakukweti ilikuwa ni clashes eti watu walikuwa wanapigana eti makabila manini ilikuwa tu maskari hata kama vijana kama wewe ukipatikana utapigwa Mama Victor's case is not isolated After our interview she decides to walk us to another household not far from hers Ile kitu ilikuwa ni uchungu polisi anafunja mlango anaua mtu ndani ya nyumba Ni mimi najua seria ni yule anakimbia imbe ana yule anarusha mawe ndio polisi kuna ruta ya ku kustua na kurusa lisasi juu lakini sio kuchapa hii area yetu walifunja mlango hii ro mlango zilikuwa zinapigwa kila dot do ilikuwa mlango imefunjwa inagushwa chini hii ro sasa wakati nilisikia hii kitu ikachacha tukafunga mlango tuliweka chapi tukafunga na tarimbo tukaweka mguu ya charani cross jumu langu ilikuwa weak kabisa sasa hivyo ndio tunaishi huko wakati nilisikia wa maafisa wamefika kwa mlango walikuwa wamehesabu tu 1 2 3 3 kuangusha mlango chini kugonga wakagonga mlango mlango ilianguka pamoja na frame 
wakati mlango ilianguka na pamoja na frame wakaingia wakaanza kuchapa kwanza wangu ndiye alikuwa ameificha chini ya juu ya kitanda mdogo alikuwa chini nyuma ya kiti Silas alikimbia akaingia chini ya kitanda yangu sasa wakati hao watu walifunja mlango mimi nikaanza kupiga ndo nikauliza ni nini afisa kwani tumefanya nini na tuko ndani ya nyumba hawakunijibu wakatafuta wanafungua katini walikuwa wanafungua hata katini wakaona kijana wangu juu ya kitanda wakamtoa wakaza kumchapa chapa wakamchapa sasa kwa hiyo harakati kumchapa ni vile ni ile kitu hata hajawahi ona ili msitoa sana wale mpiga na yeye mimi naendelea na kupiga nduru yangu kijana mdogo pia alikuwa anapiga nduru anauliza afisa brother yangu alikuwa anapiga tu dasta unampiga amefanya nini akachapwa slap moja akaambiwa funga mdomo sasa mama hawakukua wanachapa mama sasa walikuwa wanachapa vijana kwa hiyo baru wamendeleta head struggle kwa street many hard and mekuwa war head streetways i'm full of wreck never reckless cheza na mindo shenko eh unapotaka sasa hii Kenya ama huko vile tunaishigi ule mtu anafaa kukuchunga hakikisha wewe ndo unapata mazuri uko na resources uko na opportunities uko na life poa unaona eh bado ndio anaku ndio ndo anakuumiza hiyo vako yenye labda operation inaendelea unaona wakuja tu mahali wanapata tu watu wana piganisha wanaingia waezi taka hata kujua hata waezi je explain ni nini una je explain wakiwa nda wakiwa ndani unaona tayari mtu ashaumi hata kuje explain bado labda hata ni kuje explain ka unapiga unaona akijaribu kuuliza eh hey, mbona una do hivi bado unapata ndio anaendelea kupiga hata ile sasa huyo mwenye ajui yake yake akipigwa na chikunja mwenye anajua sasa akijaribu kuuliza eh hey, kwanza hiyo ndio wasi <laughs> Kwa hiyo harakati wakauliza huyu mdogo. Mwingine yako wapi? Mko na nani ndani ya hii nyumba? Naye kulingana na ile uoga akaita Sila Sila. Wanauliza ni nani tuko naye ndani ya hii nyumba? Tiari Sila alikuwa chini ya kutanda hakukua anaonekana. Wakati walimuita hivyo wakauliza huyo Sila yako wapi? Ati Sila yako pale. Wakamwambia toka nje chini ya kitanda. Sasa huyu Sila kutoka chini ya kitanga rungu. Sasa wanapiga huyu na wanapiga huyu wakawatoa nje. Sasa ilikuwa ni kuchapwa. Saila salipele kwa mpaka kwa pale kwa mtaro anapigwa. Huyu wangu pia anapigwa kwa mlango. Mimi naye naendelea na ile ndugu yangu. Sasa mama Saila pia akatoka nje, kutoka nje anaona mtoto wake na maafisa waine wanachapa na huyu mwingine pia anachapa. Sasa ikawa ni nduru tu. Sababu kila mtu alikuwa amejifunga ndani ya nyumba. Kuna yule mtu anayeweza kutoka nje kukuja kukusaidia. Juu ilikuwa ni hatari. Sasa hiyo harakati tu Mama Saila pia akapiga nduru wakawacha kumbe vile aliwaacha hivyo yule aliumizwa juu alipiga kichwa na rungu sasa ilikuwa ni hivyo Saila sa yeye alienda kukufa Kenyatta eh baada ya siku mbili akakufa Kenyatta nimezaliwa hapo lakini hapo tulitoka itetu wakati wa kuku budango alihusika nayo kuku 
tukatupa tukafukuza tukakuja hapo madhari acha naona mimi kuanzia utoi mimi hakuna mali pengine nimejua mimi nimekuru ya madha mmm so nyinyi mnaweza kuwa maisha yenu yote ni madhari Tukisema <tos> kodi ni kwa jako main trade tunanyongana kuna kitu inaitwa court court master key mm-hmm. master key hiyo nilikuwa naicheza sana sendo kupata na kina english ikawa master key sasa ishaanza watu wanaanza kugundua watu wanaanza kugundua tuko na pana sawa tatushikane hii bog hii jeshi yetu hii twende mjini mjini tao tao Metoka faista mchasing my frame do mana mini pin point you know travel forward car green and yellow Na repist lando ka mwamba no moina mi star zina flow car go god forgive me i'm a sinner Chungo spigo tiso kende sili pitia juja road banda ke mo sama 46 nina zina so stumiru pile Ni katao iko sawa ni mission Muna na masaa mission ile Muna na mission muna chorewa muna inside job mtu anafanya kazi huko anaambia time ile do uenda bank na anaambia nani amevaaje kwa hiyo nyimko timing akitoka tu hivi nyimna mnyemelea akifika mali pazuri tuko watu kaa 20 ndio ni pesa nzuri tuwe mzingira na tumechukua do iko na bidi sasa hivi mpaka tuna tuna compound tuna ingia ndani ya matri ndio tufanye nini to help In a robbery that went south, JJ tells me he narrowly survived a mob that thought they'd beat him to death. He got it to four. To go to Chorapi mission ya pesa za mjeko. Sasa kwenda siku na tena na gama, kile za gani yenyewe kumbe jamani wenyewe ana tu enjoy na sisi moja. Kawa cornered ndiana sana kwa kona sasa sasa ni mawe hizi mama na zangu hizi hizi mama hizi mama mingi huko mawe sasa huu nini si unajua utamjenga yes sasa mimi naweza kuambia ni statement nimekuwa nikiona kwa kutoka nikiwa mdogo unaona kutoka nikiwa mtu huyu unaona ile kwa barabara ukienda eh unapatana na mtu wa medredi kwa barabara na ni mtu unapata eh unashindwa eh kwani watu siku hizi ni kama maumbo ama ni aje na Sayyid bado nimekuwa mtu mbigi. Bado hizo scene tu bado. Nimepata na gatuna. Nimepata na gatuna hapo. Kuna tu mtu hapo ame amepiga amechafuka. Mtu unaojua vile umbo uka yani. Mtu ame amelala hapo na ame dead. Haya. Nikaa tu yani. Wewe kufa kabisa. Informal settlements put young men and women in difficult circumstances. And getting past the age of 25 years here is a huge thing. Watu waseme king wa Gaza ameishiwa. King wa Gaza ajeishiwa. Sawa? Ako tu. Sawa? Na ile section yenye ako. Tutawaua. Ameenda training, sawa? Mwanaji akisikia jina la Gaza anaingiza kiwewe kabisa. Most of the gang members operating in Kayole pledge their loyalties to the values of the dancehall artist whom they claim to be their god and is believed to have prepared a safe place for them in heaven. Gaza Gaza ni tam. Si gani? Tam. Yeye natumika kama sheng. Ni sheng ya Kayole. Yeah, natumika ku describe a certain kind of looking person unaona eh yeah. yeah, kijana fulani eh yeah. yeah. wewe unasikia gaudo tunasema ule na nini mga ni mgaza na nini yeah. mgaza unaona <laughs> vako zake yeah, yeah. yeah. gaza ni tuseme si group mm. 
si si gang si gang so fa una angalia ga vile katela lika mingi so si unajua kayole na katel vile mayuto wa kayole wanapenda katel unaona yeah, so una kama yeah. eh, vibes katel so una kama unapata vile vibes katel zile vitu anaimba yani unapata za kiu gangsta kiu nini yani mrudu unapata yani life yake unapata life yake so unapata ndi eh mm. boy mwenye kwa ile pia mm. yeah, ako kwa certain age group yeah. anataka I meet it zile vitu zile zinafanyika huko unaona Hata kadu na banga shikwa hakuna mbaya tumefanya shikwa hama banga wakituona oh bana tushika Tulikuwa na story nyingine hapa makaraonga na upuzi sana Hata ase Aonga na macheo macheo maze Misi wa fagili, wateni wa pistori Pau kwa pakawa, huenda kawa Wala kinara kapagawa, kisha kupewa bawa Kisha kunyanyasa alie na kipawa Ukoloni mambolewa Awa makarao, meza wetu una wanatakaturi le tutu nao Yani wakipata watu na wane gani Usipo wa sot, manze minakuwa maadui Na unajule saa kona akona kiraoni Na una kipeleka uba kwa ni kwa male Nina kwa ni hivo So unapata sima vijana na makarao kuna venye tunakimbiza na gatuni yeah, yeah. jua tupata nangi yeah. wanataka tu kula kwetu na si hatuna at this point i'm told about minor he was a former member of the pirates youth group and was arrested while working and shot dead Ilikuwa 21st Feb 2017 around saa 6 banango alikuwa na group imejiunga ya huku mlango inaitwa Pirates alikuwa wanatengeneza stands za kuweka tank hiyo tank ilikuwa donated by Kansola Andrew so wakiwa wanatengeneza hizo stands kulikuwa kulikuja maaskari wawili hmm, Rashid na mwingine anaitwa Mkisi walikuja wakakuja hapo pirates wakampata ako juu ako na shati alikuwa na vest wakamwambia shuka akashuka akamwambia chukua shati akachukua shati so wakaanza kuenda na yeye kuna mali walifika tu hapo karibu na pirates kuna mama mmoja aliwaambia mnapeleka wapi huyu kijana na huyu kijana ana mambo mingi Rashid alimjibu akamwambia huyu kijana anakamtu saa hii so walipanda na ye, watu wakajaribu kumfuata askari wakarudisha watu wakaambia tuna anarudi tu saa hii wakampeleka mpaka mahali panaitwa wanjas katikati ya mlango na pango wakamuli hapo huko kuja kwa koko juu anakuja direct anakuwa hapo kwa hiyo sasa hiyo anaweza kuja sasa eh time off ufanye hivyo anataka ile yako na nguvu unaona sao kuja wanaingia ile mundo kwa hiyo ile kwa vitabu si grace god ile kimeka hivyo oh kama wanaingia walikuwa watu wengi karibu vijana dhati ndani lakini yeye kama anamchukua huyu peke yake sababu ndio kama ni kuuliza na kwa nini anachukuliwa basi ndio alianza kumpiga mpiga alikuwa amevaa vest akamwambia vasha umchukua na kaka na yeye wajua alichukua akachukua akaliingia na bag akamwambia kila mtu yake simu yake hapo ama askari alikuja katika simu ya kila boy hapo. Kaenda nazo. Na ana kaenda na brother. Sawa mabo wengine kwa na tibro yangu ameenda. Mkichochana sasa wafuate. Kumfuata nyuma. Sasa ndio walienda hivi juu. Hivi juu kwa huko barabara. Yaliko kwa barabara. Ndio sawa mabo kifuata fuata nyuma. Masasi wakati mabo wanafuata wakapiga tochoro mbili tatu wakapotea na mabo. Sawa boy kule kwa blow stickie. Watu walishafika huko mgumu hivi. Okay, 
Jaga um tiga kami yang kalian bela ini. Ibu tu no hati yang nak hampir yang bongo. Teroka sah sah mana? Hati yang kami buat pergi hati yang bukoran mana mahu dia membela mu? Kian siro. Doa ab. Miskin. Ini masih ringan lah cukup dua ini ya. Kevin is another victim arrested on his way from work and executed. With each family met, the burden of responsibility on these started to weigh heavy. Kamabi ya tamani kumalise. Alimpiga sa mikono. Kifua na tubo ine. Mtoto wangu akakufa. Mimi ni kimka asubuhi. Nafanya ngatu kazi hapa na chia madhimu toi. Natoke hivyo na barabara. Nikiona yenyewe hakuna hakuna otherwise japata do. Mimi wenda kuna dem fulani tunanga mafomu na yeye inabaki tu mimi ndio najifinyile inabaki tumekata tumekata yadi ndio mwana sawa uko kiria sana mimi pande yangu bila kuandaa Yes, me will number boy not but a dog. Jenny, like in the phone. Saying that no one gets better, many cool friends, and your mother, me too, you might be a poor fight. Ata, Dua Kuja Kuaga, Alikua Ende. Alikua Ende Katal, Ikiwa Tuesday. Sasa Kevin alikuwa anajifanyia kazi hakuwa kijana mbaya. Saka huko mtaa mimi nakunga na sifa mbaya watu wasema piliwa suara ju nilipata zanga watu wa mitisa msijiona ngikapi ni mtu. Kujenye hata ni kidate boy wa boy wa huko mtaa mama yake ajua wanasema anga nataka kuulia mtoi sasa inabaki tu nimekaa tu soto nimekaa tu peke yangu tu nizoe niache kuwa watoto wenyewe Makarao sasa hivi wapendi kuona maboy wakiwa wamejifunga yeye sio kwa kujifunga watu wajifunga for various reasons lakini reasons zetu zilikuwa tu za kujimeka but sasa kwa mission yao kwa maende yao wanaonekana kama gang group kana kwa mio unaona kama terrorist group unaona so their main goal ni kujaribu ku to destroy the place and to take care of all the people. Now, all the people are the easy target. You know what I'm saying? They're going to work around these people. What do you mean? The media, how do they have an anchor when they have five tags, were shot dead, and a toy pistol was recovered. Are you still with me? We have, it's like we have second and first class citizens. Why? Why do we have this, what is it called, disparities? In, in, the, in the quest for justice. We need to follow our constitution to the latter because we have, we have the best constitution in Africa. Our, our constitution is very progressive. And we have said that we are a democratic state. But that's just on paper. We are very good on beautifying our country on paper, but in reality we are just uh, a fascist state. Kenyewa sanso na juwa boy ni mwini kudunga. 
Kaza dunga vifiti ya misi ya mwenye nona Oe, wakio na boya medunga vifiti Medunga fine Kwa hini mamisho kazi ya kwa nikawana So si hati ya mwezi kafiti Si hati ya tuna kafiti Kwa hini kitu ya tuwa hiti 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 kama hiyo na hiyo ungeva hadi sasa nilifanya ngai kwenye kufanya kazi unaona hiyo kitu ngati kia tu niko fine ama hope iko fine sasa hizo hiyo gandi umetafuta na nguvu kuanda lazima atake kukula sasa hata atakuacha bure mimi mimi nikizaliwa nilijipata ghetto si kujipata hiyo wote nilizaliwa mimi nikiji nikianza kutembea nilijipata ghetto unaona na hiyo ndio mtaamini mzali sasa hata kuchemea nimefanikiwa kimaisha kesa au mtaa na hiyo yetu ni ndogo ni kutoka hapa hadi pale unaona ni wenadi wa kifunga hivi waweke tu siku hii kweli imeenda kuna mali meza enda sio na badam sekaa mimi nafinyiliwa na feel eh hii place life yangu iko in danger sio nafaa ku move ni ile place ingine na hujawezi move kama hujapata design meza ji sustain kulipata hizo manyumba na kani mbali unaenda transport ni na hizo vitu zote sio nafanya life yangu boy bado inakuwa hadi hapo inafaa nafikiria sana future ya madare juu tunashindwa tia sasa hivi tunaongea kuna ka generation gap kuna gap ambayo iko kuna generation fulani ambao usiki kuna hapo 2016 2015 2016 2017 kuna rika fulani hapa madhare akiamu ni kama ilimalizwa thank you mbele sana sana na ni between hiyo 18 25 kwa najua wale wa mtaani wale nilitolewa kwa hiyo mangosho either kwa hao ama nani alikujua alikuwa na vogi fulani ama nani alikuwa dingo bado sipoa unaona kama tumenya kona right up so hayo ya mtu there is an energy in these young men and women and most of it is directed towards survival the various groups we met while shooting this story share the identity of survival, huddling up against each other with the hope that they do not get eaten up by the same society that made them. Kama gava ili kwa inataka kuenshua kuna mazi madhare, kuna shule kibich, kuna security, all areas of, of, of informal settlements, they are very able to do that. But they don't care about the people of madhare. They don't care about the people of Kibera or Mukuru or Gidorai. They care about the people living in Kaje or Mutaiga. We see atuna atuna ganji ya ku contribute kwa economy or something. Tuko neglected. Ilikuwa ni madhare Kibra Dandora. Yaani pande Muslim ziko. Kwa geto peke yake ndio walikuwa napigwa na askari. Lakini hatukusikia tirunda wapi zimepigwa hata hapo Mutaiga eti watu wamepigwa hapana kama ningekuwa na uwezo ningangangana lakini mtu ako na bunduki wamejihami ni kazi yao ni kuua shoot and kill ya kwanza asubuhi walikuwa wanasema uwa asubuhi wacha hii ya wakati ya sasa kukuja kuua huyu mtoto ndani ya nyumba inafaa akipata mtoto na makosa shika yeye pereka ndani enda hukumiwa hata kama ni maisha lakini akae akiwa tu ako na uhai yake sasa hata kama ni kura tulipiga ukweli Raila wamesalamiana na uhuru je wanasema nini kwa wale watu waliuliwa sisi we tunaita zika when they want votes where do they go to to ghetto yeah that's where we, we are only good for voting and that's why i'm saying my ghetto people need to wake up we need to realize we have the power we are the masses and all sovereign power belongs to the people of kenya yani ni kitu hata ieleweki kwa sababu pia community wame normalize it's a uh, it's a normalized uh, issue size but ni kitu ina itamaliza hii mtaa isipoangaliwa. It's through passion which brought me to the work. 
because I'm a member of MCC. I'm a founder member of MCC. We started it off because oh, there were so much cases of extrajudicial execution in Malawi. Mambra Media, how will when I anchor when I work on five tags, was shot dead, and uh, a toy pistol was recovered. Now you story me. So the brothers who come here, your statues, you look not all of them, and all who are wow, who are in this crime. Well, it's basically to knock one twenty-two in number, but to the other very, to the other two are in the same from figures of hundred and twenty during those days, we turned way back in 2016. But uh, with time, what we can reduce, due to different reasons, when we may drop to, when we may threat up on the car, when we may due to reasons to mob more, more to the cause of the area. So pirates may have come up with project mob, sana na car. Then we may go to Kiono to tender with the Mbaya Maji to the Pipe Maji for community. During time, we may have Maji. Maji may 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 be like a pangali na isli ko kama smarta so he get to it na so we take the initiative for group. The Botanjet Foundation says it to lead the 2018 kama kamoja na actually main objective here to na kwa community rehabilitation on environment and security. So far we are na area to angali we may change na nini eh kila kitu eh mau ani ni na rehabilitate area. Unaona. So far, I don't know what to do with my youth here. I'm going to rehabilitate my youth, I'm going to be a tattoo. Yeah. I'm going to be a little bit of a line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pole, pole. Pole, pole. Um. The Constitution in Asamanga, all sovereign power belongs to the people of Kenya. I say to the people of Runda or to the people of Karen. It's all of us as citizens of this country. We need to be treated with the same dignity. We need to be treated with the same dignity.